Here's one of my favorite hacks for helping post-meal sugar, and it's called the three-second rule. Three, not 30. So anyone who has sat in my consult room will know that I preach about one of the greatest things you can do to improve your insulin sensitivity is to take a walk after the largest meal of your day. Why? Because you use your muscles after you eat, and in order for them to work, they need glucose to do their job. So they're like a sponge. They suck up all that glucose that's swimming around in the bloodstream, and they put it to use. So a good rule of thumb would be three seconds after your last bite, you're going to stand up, walk around, tidy up. Be active, whatever you're going to do. Importantly, you don't have to have a gym membership or expensive equipment or special clothes or anything like that. You get up and you walk out the door. Five minutes, 10 minutes, you can watch this in real time on your CGM, reduce a blood sugar spike, maybe 30%, 40% even after a spike has already started. If you were to sit there and scroll, sugar goes up. Muscles aren't being used. There's nothing to take it out of the bloodstream. And so this small action improves your insulin sensitivity for hours beyond the actual activity. So you go to bed, you have restful sleep, and you prime yourself for sensitivity to your insulin all night long, okay? So if you want better glucose, start with this one rule. You eat, then you move. And watch your life get better. <laughs>